mind because this is this is near and dear to my heart because I, it's it's just I, I can't fathom a, an athlete in that city coming up when, with his track record and some of the things that have happened to him in the postseason and coming in there with what the organization just went through with all the drama around Ben Simmons, all they gave up to get him, going two-thirds of the year without any other player in mind except this player and a guy in an MVP season next to him, and you say, I got another proof. Hmm. And, and hearing people driving off the road, tires screeching on the Ben Franklin Bridge as people pull off on, on Sports Talk Radio in Philly because you're going, what are you, wait, what are you talking about? I don't feel any pressure. I've got nothing to prove, and nothing could be further from the truth. And he's putting it out there for public consumption. Yeah. Like you, you're not going to bother me with what you say. I'm beyond that. I'm good with who I am, and I'm secure. And that's fine for public consumption. But we all know how the human mind works. He's got to be alone with his own thoughts at yeah. times, and there's no question in my mind he's feeling it. And, by the way, I got news for you. He's going to feel it in a level of accountability and scrutiny like he has never experienced if he comes up small, particularly in this series, first round series, and they go home with everything they went through to get to this point, if he does not deliver and get them at least to the next round, and part of it because he plays well, he's never going to deal with anything like he's dealt with. The people can say, oh, he's going to get his money anyway, and he should be good with that. Fine. If that's what you want to hang your hat on, I got my money, I'm a Hall of Famer, who cares? Great. Well, that's not what the great, how the great ones think. You know, stand up there and say, yeah, man, I know there's pressure on me and I'm going to deliver. I'd rather hear him say that than say, I don't have any pressure and I've got nothing to prove. Legs, I am so worried about Daryl Morey because if this is the leader of your team, I know what you or I would say. I'm competitive as hell. Like, I want to be the best at everything sure. I do. So is there pressure? Yeah, there's pressure on me. But you know what? This city deserves a championship. And at the end of the day, that's why I was brought here. But when you think about James Harden, He's gotten everything he's always wanted. Oh, I don't like the way this situation is going in Houston. I want out. I forced my way out. Oh, now I'm in Brooklyn. Hey, this is not what I signed up for. Get me out. Now I'm in Philadelphia. Is there, oh, I'm okay. You know why? Because he knows. Is Daryl Morey, after moving heaven to earth, giving up the number one pick in Ben Simmons, giving up Andre Drummond, Seth Curry, multiple draft picks, is he going to mortgage the house and then just let James Harden? Yeah walk out the street, he's going to get his money regardless. Yeah, and that's the mentality I worry about. And I feel bad for Joel Embiid. Because at the end of the day, I want to see Joel Embiid rewarded for being healthy and hopefully giving a chance to win a championship. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.